just doesn't feel real. It's unbelievable actually. Really beautiful guys. Good afternoon from Ubud, Ubud Bali. I'm currently just driving down. Um, I am actually headed to uh, the famous rice fields here in Ubud known as Tagalalang, Tagalalang rice fields. Um, it's a rice terrace. Um, it's where they grow rice obviously and um, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like and I'm actually curious to see myself It's one of the most famous rice terraces uh, in Bali actually. There's a lot of them uh, It's a big grub for a big hub for growing rice, but um, This this Tagalalang one. I think I'm saying it right Tagalalang is one of the most uh, famous ones. Hello I am very excited to check it out and show you guys as well and we're gonna take a ride there. The ride for me is about 25 minutes from my hotel. Uh, but there's some beautiful scenery along the way, so it should be a fun ride to take. to just cut it all off you know but I need my hair I need my hair alrighty let's see guys so let's go get us some coffee hello hi you have a uh, coffee? coffee coffee yeah, yeah. Uh, white coffee you have white coffee yeah, very nice how are you brother Nice to meet you. How are you, brother? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Se, uh, se llama, uh, se llaman, uh, na, nama? Nama. Yeah. Nakanaji. 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 Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, my name? Meyer. 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 Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. So this is, this is your shop? You? This is your shop? Or this? Yeah. 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 His shop? Yeah. Hi, brother. Say, say, how about Namamu? Nakan. Nakan? Yeah. Uh, this is the white coffee? Yeah. Uh, beautiful. I love white coffee. My favorite. This is your shop? Yeah. Very nice. Hey, right, guys. Oh, just stopping here. They sell some snacks. Some different things you can get here. Um, maybe I'll get a snack too. Got some uh, chips. Some chocolate. Looks like some bread or something. Uh, Maybe like. we'll get a um, sweet sticks. No. Mm. Like some kind of uh, bread. Thank you, brother. Makasi. What's this? A roti. Looks like uh, some bread with uh, co coconut flavor. This is like a uh, coconut? Yeah. Coconut flavor? Roti Japan. I go to um, the. the Talala? 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 Yeah. Rice field, yeah. This way. Rice terrace. Rice terrace. Rice terrace. Yeah. It's this way, no? Straight? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You from, you from Ubud? 
blueberry snack. Uh, berapa coffee? Dua ribu. Dua ribu. Eh, tiga ribu, tiga ribu. Two ribu, now three ribu. Three ribu, ribu. Ah, this one. Together. But coffee is two ribu. Three ribu. This one? Three ribu. So? Four. Four ribu. Four. Four coffee. How you say in Bahasa? Four. Four? Yeah, in Bahasa. Yeah. Indonesian four is? Four English. Four English. English. Bahasa. Empat. 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 Empat ribu. Yeah. Empat ribu. Hello. Okay. So be good with the coffee. I have like a blueberry filling inside. Big banana. Um, berapa? Uh, lima? Lima ribu? Yes. Lima ribu. Five thousand. Lima ribu is five thousand. Two, four, six. Eight, four, six. Okay, makasih. Bye-bye. Alrighty, guys. This is the bike that I have, by the way. It's a Scoopy. A Scoopy Doopy. Honda Scoopy. Gotta put on your helmet and be safe. I hate putting on helmets, but there was a time in my life when I lived in China, I was just avid scooter rider and I used to not wear helmets and I think back to those times like that was crazy because there was times we fell off the bike and luckily I didn't hit my head but if I did it could have been bad but you should always wear your helmet but anywho on the way to the rice terrace and I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm there hey guys, so we are here we gotta go up this hill in the beginning and then um, I think you parked up here somewhere and then we're gonna go for a walk around here and see Help you. Thank you. This way? Yeah. Okay. Gotta park the bike. Don't be here. Alright. Super excited to see this. This is one of the things that you have to see in the wood. <laughs> Down there? Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hello, how are you doing? Uh, there's an entrance fee? Yeah, for the rice terrace area. Rice terrace? How many person? Just me. Oh, yeah. yeah. 10,000. 10,000. Where are you from? I'm from the US. Oh, yeah. 10,000 you said? Yeah, okay. 10,000. There you go. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. And which this way? way? Uh, this way? Yeah, MF side. That's it. Okay, thank you so much guys. Bye bye. bye. Alright you guys, so pay the ticket and then walk this way I think you have to cross the street and then you get into uh, the rice terraces uh, hi how are you <laughs> what's going on yeah. this way right yeah that way, that way. this way yeah. okay thank you thank you okay thank you Alrighty, so here we are hi hello wow this is amazing look at this guys here we are. I love Bali. Look at this. Yeah, this. I used to end from in the area and mm -hmm. I just walk out here. You cross your Pedonesian down there. Huh? You cross up there. Yeah. You pay Donesian down there. Okay. Like you that. want to try Bali swing? We have the Bali swing. Uh, no need for the swing. Just gonna walk. Yeah. Yes, that, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Guys, look at this. How amazing this looks. I'm gonna show you once we get closer, but there's like literally levels to uh, the uh, rice terraces. So I guess each level there's a so on each level they grow uh, rice. Like each yeah. level has a different yeah, growing. Okay. Different. And like, is it everybody this rice terrace like different people grow rice here or? Like, yeah, that's here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Alrighty. So let's head in. Alright, so you gotta walk down guys. It's gonna be a lot of walking, but I'm excited to show you. Alright. 
Now this is a pretty popular tourist site, so you're gonna see a lot of tourists. Look at this swing. So you can swing on this swing. You gotta pay 30,000 to take a photo on it. And to swing, you gotta pay 200,000. Jesus, gosh. They really know how to get tourists with these things. I'm good on that. I don't need to take a photo on a swing. Um, but I just wanna check out this terrace. Okay. All right. Alrighty, so just watch your step on these steps. They're pretty long steps here. Oh, so this is just like insanely beautiful, guys. So this is actually a uh, World UNESCO Heritage Site. Um, so it's a protected land that will not be taken over by any commercial businesses. And uh, it should be because this is absolutely beautiful. Never seen anything like this in my life, guys. Um, never seen a rice terrace or a rice paddy before. Now, when I was coming to uh, Indonesia at first, I was thinking because I was in Philippines before, I was like, how could Indonesia be any more beautiful than the beaches I've seen in, in uh, you know, Philippines? They have the most beautiful beaches, and I was like, can it? Can nature be any more beautiful than this? And then I come to places like this, and I'm like, this is why you come here. This is why you come to Bali to see these kind of experiences because um, I don't think you really get experiences like this uh, anywhere else besides here in Bali or in Indonesia. Um, there are several other places where they do grow rice here um, in this country. But yeah, it's things like this where I'm like, oh, okay, makes sense. Now, now I get it. Now I get the hype of uh, Bali as far as like nature and, and when you come in here you can really just feel the peace and the air quality is like different. Thank you. Look at this guy selling some hats over here. Um, he's trying to get me to buy one but I've had, I've bought enough hats. I got my copia and I'm good. What else do I need, you know? I'm getting closer to these terraces here. I think, I don't know if I'm supposed to walk down that way because I think there's water over here. What's up, chicken? The roosters are clucking. The water is going. Oh, we're getting closer to that and down to the water here. So this, this type of irrigation system was actually brought here in like the 8th century um, sometime. I'm not sure who brought it over, but you guys can look that up again this is Myers bro history lesson don't think I'm here to give you a uh, the most accurate information but something like that brought in the 8th century hi brother hello how are you today how are you doing what are you doing um hello. just walking <laughs> if you under go there yeah if you under go there start from here you prepare the bridge that doesn't from person okay. there and you have to listen to that sure <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, really. You finish for the trekking. You come this way, same way. Same way. Yeah. Okay. This way? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so um, you gotta basically pay uh, ten thousand. It's like a donation, basically. Um, you could give a little bit more if you want to keep these rice paddies going and alive. Yeah. Look at this. The way they irrigate it through the water. Water comes here goes back to the top, comes back, and they just make it keep flowing. It's pretty awesome. There's the water from the pipe. Guys, this almost doesn't feel like real. Like, it just feels like it's like a movie set. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It just, it's like I said, I just feel like I entered a new world. It feels like when you go into like Universal or Disneyland and they have like these sets made. But this is real. This is actually nature. And that's really cool. Hi, how are you? It's supposed to go this way or? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. This way? Okay. Yeah. All right. Just got my feet wet. That's going to be fun. Getting my feet soaked. Uh, that sucks. Look at my shoe. It's disgusting, huh? But yeah, you're supposed to walk up through this thing. Not where I was walking. What's up, chicken? 
All right, it's good, you know, get my steps in today anyway. There's rice growing, so as you can see, this is the rice growing. Hey, mister. Hi, how are you? Where are you from? I'm from US. US, oh, yeah. What about you? I'm from Jakarta. Jakarta? Yeah. Nice, nice. You guys are visiting Bali? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was in Jakarta before, oh. before I came to Bali. Yeah, it was really nice. Since when are you in Bali? Uh, I've been in Bali now for like, uh, before this I was in Jimbaran. And uh, and now I yeah. came to uh, Ubud. Ubud. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to go there? Where? There. There, there is a rice terrace. The the top. Uh, yeah. yeah. How did you guys go from this way? Yes. Good this place. Way? Yes. Yeah. You go to left. Left. Track. And then go up. Oh yes. Okay. There is rice terrace. Very nice. Yes. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Yezon. 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 Meyer. Meyer. Yes. David. David. Yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. Okay, okay yeah. guys. Okay. Take it easy. <laughs> Someone's taking the swing and yelling. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be pretty scary though, taking that swing. But yeah, I mean, it feels like I'm in Jurassic Park, the set of Jurassic Park. I feel like a dinosaur is going to pop out of nowhere and come and try to attack me. It just doesn't feel real. It's unbelievable, actually. Hey, right, what's up, guys? Looks like some um, Buddhist or, or Hindu uh, statues. Welcome, they're welcoming us. Whew, man. I'm starting to get Penang Hill vibes here, but it's a way less, <laughs> way shorter hike. <laughs> hey, brother. Hello, brother. Hello. Oh, you're sharpening your knife. This is to cut down the trees? Yeah. Ah, very nice. Zipline. How much do you charge for zipline? 200. 200? 1000? Yes. Okay. I'm good, brother. I already I just did ziplining before in uh Philippines. Okay. Yeah. So, do people still grow like does this rice that grows here, do they do people still use it or no? They Can you cook this rice? Like this rice? Like do people do people still use the rice here? They yeah. pick the rice? Yeah. They pick it? Oh okay. I was under the impression that because this became such a tourist site that maybe people they stopped focusing on the growing of rice and more on bringing tourists in, but it seems that they still actually use the the harvested rice here. So that's good. We're at the top on the other side. Look at this. Look at the views you get from here. Just goes on forever. You got businesses all along that side. Really beautiful, guys. I'm just sitting here admiring this beautiful view. They have like some seats where you can sit down. Don't forget to uh, admire uh, nature when you go to nature. Because you know nowadays people get so caught up in taking videos and taking photos. Including myself. I mean I'm no better. Obviously this is what I do. Um, I make content. But at the same time I always make sure that I put the camera down. I sit down and I admire beauty when I see something like this that I've never seen in my life. Because you know I think nowadays we do everything for the gram. For the gram you know. But we forget to uh, really embrace uh, nature's beauty and, and really just sit there and soak it in. Um, and I try to do that. I just put everything to the side and, and just, you know, just look. Sit down for a second and just look at it. Instead of just coming and leaving quickly um, and getting my photos. It's important to just sit down and admire it. And that's what I'm doing right now before I get out of here. If you come to Ubud, you have to come to these rice patties. Or rice terraces, I should say. Also known as... What is it known as again? The, the, the Lalagan? The Lalagan? Am I saying that right? I hope. I'm bad with names, guys. I'm sorry. I try. Tagalalan. Oh, look! There's some... Looks like there's a cow up here. And a baby calf. Oh, look at that. What's up, cows? 
Look at that. They're like tied up over here, I think. I don't know if we're supposed to come here, but there's the baby calf and there's the cow. What's up, buddies? They don't look too happy being tied up. I don't know why they don't let them roam free, but let's see. But the baby calf is free. Oh no, he's also tied. No, he's he's free. What's up, buddy? Hello. How you doing? Good. Everything is good. So many different kinds of animals. There's like a goose there, some chicken there, some cows here, or a calf, and then some cows over here, tied up. Hey, buddy. I think he wants to go back to his parents. Go ahead. I'm not gonna bother you anymore. I think I've reached the top here, guys. So I am going to head out of here. Bye, buddy. <laughs> I think he's a bit weary of me. Bye, bye. Alrighty, guys. So yeah, this is the the Galagang, the Galagang rice fields. <sighs> Hope I'm saying that right. But I'm gonna end this video here probably finish up this hike and then head back remember guys continue to learn continue to grow and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone I mean if I never left my comfort zone I wouldn't get to experience such beauty the way I have here in Bali so whatever your comfort zone is get out of it and watch how you grow and I'll see you guys on the next one <laughs>